Hello guys, it's Shock. So I heard that uh, you wanted some tips and tricks from myself uh, talking about the pistols. So we're gonna jump into Dust 2 and I'm gonna show you some specific tricks. Uh, talking about the, the city side, there is a, a very good position uh, that a lot of T don't usually check. It's like when you are behind the car and you hide like this. The, the, the T when they will be running from long, like they, they can't see you uh, till they are like something like this. So it's really hard for them to check it and it's actually a wonderful pose, uh, position to have, uh, especially with an USP, because when you will hear them uh, running or stuff like that, then you just have to go and with the silencer, they don't usually really know uh, where you are. So that's a really good one. Um, if you can also, I mean, my best advice is try as maximum to have long range when you are playing the city pistol round because you got uh, the advantage uh, playing with an USP or P2000 uh, versus a Glock. Uh, <coughs> so, for example, you can also play from the side. And the, I mean, the main thing is that uh, you're gonna take a lot of different angles uh, once you shoot a bullet. For example. Here, if they come along, I'm gonna try to hit two or three bullets, then I will go back. I will take this angle to get two or three bullets, then I will get this one. Here, it's an angle where you see only the head, so it's really powerful. And then I will, you also have this one. Coming up to this, like it means you have like four chances uh, to, to have potentially kills uh, if they rush long, so that's really powerful. And that can do the same uh, everywhere on the map. Uh, the, the thing is just when you shoot a bullet, go back and take another angle. If you just take uh, the normal angle and you shoot and you don't, you don't really move, they're gonna jump, they're gonna go like two or three in front of you and you just can't hold it. So you have to play the maximum one on one you can. So by doing like this, like this, like this and always changing your angle like you will it you will be definitely more efficiency uh, by getting more kills as city. So now we're gonna switch to the T side. Uh, going to the T side, you have uh, different options. Uh, I would say that you have three. The first one will be that you will uh, use uh, you, you will just take the utilities for your team. So for example, smack, smoke, I mean, um, Molotov or flashes, and you will help your teammate uh, to go through the bomb site thanks to your utilities. For example, uh, if I'm here on Dust 2 I can, I, and I take just as a pistol one smoke and two flash, I can throw this smoke like this and jump through and he will go directly to the top of the box middle, which means when it, when it explodes, like my team just can run and have close range with the Glock, especially in the short and then you will have to face the city who are probably on the side who are gonna take the long range so it's gonna be hard with the Glock and then you can just help your teammate to um, I mean rush them by using your flashes like one like this and another like this so the second one is really good because the second one means like when your team is gonna rush they don't take it but all the city who is gonna fight your team like they will directly take it into the eyes so when they're gonna not be blind anymore, uh, you will be here with a Glock against an USP and it's really good for your team. Second one is like if you want to try uh, to play, for example, uh, some long ranges, what people do usually is that they just take a P250 because, I mean, getting a duel in a long range against an USP is really hard. So, for example, if I want to go long, it's really, it can really be good to get a P250 because a lot of players like to play uh, with a USP from the site. And with a Glock, it's gonna be really hard. But if you get a P250, then you can try to get your duel and actually win your duel. And then it will be really efficient. Um, the third one, uh, I would say like, uh, it just, if you're in a rush uh, with your team or stuff like this, you want to play close range with the Glock, so you're gonna try to, mac to as much as you can play close ranges. So you can go by lower, then you will try to fight the guy if they fight short, then you will go out middle. And the real thing like this, when you do all the kind of stuff, when you are first or second, is like you have to cross all, to jump, I mean, 
all the line from the city USB. Because if you just run like this, then it will be really easier for them just to hold an angle with their USB and just one shot you easily. But when you are jumping, it's really hard for them to actually kill you and you win distance over them. And the more you are close to them, the more you get chance to win your duel with a Glock. So for example, if we take this here, you're gonna jump the first line, then you're gonna jump the second one, if there is someone here, the third one for the city who is here, and then another one for the guys who is close or who is at city spot. And even if after you want to, for example, get a B-split, and then you got a teammate who got utilities, he's gonna smoke like this for the city spawn. But same if you are first, you have to jump like this. Always, always in the Glock, you have to jump to just close to your enemy. And then once you are close to the enemy, it becomes really easier for you to kill, to kill him because of your Glock against an USP. All right, guys, it's finished. So I hope like it's gonna be helpful for you and you and you love these tips and tricks about the pistols. Uh, please let me know in the comments uh, if you have any other specific requests and see you on the other side.